buddy, my name is Marzak Gaming. Today we're looking over some Tom Clancy's End of War um, gameplay here. We're going to be playing um, the game on World War 3 mode, which means that um, basically we, we uh, pick a side from the European Union, um, the Americans, or the Russians, and we fight over the entire world pretty much. It's, it's a great game. It's sad that barely anybody actually plays online anymore. I don't even know if the servers are up anymore. Um, but if they are, that would be amazing if someone wanted to, you know, play a match or something. That would be cool. So, we're going to go to solo campaign game in World War III. We're just going to play a normal because we're kind of casual right now. But I think I'm going to be the U.S. because I've already been the Euro Europeans and... You know, being the Russians is just kind of pointless because they're really stupid and their armies are terrible. These guys are probably the most effective, but USA just looks cool and part partly, you know, it's because I'm American. Proud of my country. So let's go with these guys. Um, we get to choose a battalion to um, use as our main. Um, basically, we get a commander get different types of units in each one. I'm probably just going to do the Special Operations Battalion since it has pretty much everything and it's a lot like um, an Assault. This pretty much, pretty much is an Assault Battalion. It just has um, more of everything else in it. More of the uh, plus, like here it says, Rifleman plus 10 damage but minus 5 health points, 5% health points. Minus five percent isn't a huge deal, but plus ten percent is a huge is a huge deal. So we're gonna pick the, the uh, special operations battalion because they're apparently the most highly trained elements in an already elite force. And this guy just has a cool mustache just to top it off. We're gonna go with these guys, and yes, we're gonna overwrite the existing power save. Though the okay. new Commonwealth has declared neutrality, so there's it is the world to let map European that we can look at here. This is in the Ireland before you were federated in 2018. Oh, this is about where I live, right here. If the mouse shows up, that is. Um, anyways, we can go across the ocean here to where the Europeans are and where the Russians are. So this is the only place that the, that the war actually takes place in, doesn't take place in the opposite part of the world. But I guess that is mostly ocean anyways. Does the, does the enemy... Eh, eh. Yeah, it's mostly ocean, so... But there's no rest of the United States, which is kind of stupid. It's just part of the United States. But, um... I want to protect myself here, so I'm going to go to where the, we're being attacked by the Russians. Actually, first I should go to the barracks and show you guys around the barracks. But yeah, there's also a voice command system, which is how I'm going to use the game. So I'm going to be saying, like, unit one move to alpha, that kind of a thing. And that that's how I'm going to move my troops around. So we have 800 credits, or 800,000 credits. And now we have, this is our uh, battalion, our whole entire battalion here, guys, that we're looking at. Candles, blue cab, teamster, yellow cab, clubber, masher, scorcher, grinder, all their call signs, poker face, casino, double down, wild card, ninja, bullseye, ice pick, and ghost. All this stuff is just like their um, actual, their these guys are recruits, so they're not like veterans or anything. If they were veterans, we could um, get, they would have better bonuses and stuff. But since this is their first time actually going into war, then they don't have the right. Um, they don't. They're not veterans. So they don't get anything extra. So we can upgrade the gunships here to have extra. Um, to have extra stuff on them, but. I think we're, we're going to go with artillery to have the special attacks. Because artillery are already good at attacking in the first place, but having them being better at attacking and 
you know, just getting that extra edge is crucial with these guys. So we're going to purchase that. Tanks, these guys are already powerful enough. I think we're, we're, we're going to go with the defense. That adds the defense. Um, the defense thing to them. Makes, them, makes their armor better. Combat transports. I think I'm gonna go with two of them for these guys. We're gonna, we're, we're, bleh, excuse me. We're gonna go with attack, which adds turret to them. So you can see it adds a better turret. And we're gonna give them defense, which gives them a better defense bonus. Just plus health points. Engineers, these guys are like our um, our guys who are in charge of um, blowing up tanks, getting into buildings, hiding out, that kind of thing. And then the riflemen, which are the ghosts. Um, this is these are your standard ghost recon teams. Um, so if you're wondering, you know, what these guys would look like in a real war situation, this is what it would be. They would be these guys. So we're gonna add, we're gonna push up their attack bonus. Now, none of them are qualified for this, but they will get, oh, I guess four of them did qualify. Um, never mind, they, they all qualified. We can get Force Recon. Look at all those different... Um, what you call it, camos that we can get. Might go with this or digital. Or Kajun. Let's look at the rifleman. Kajun. Or the tanks. No, let's look at now let's look at Kajun. I have to I always have to make my guys look nice. I don't know why, it's just something that I do. Okay, we're going with Kajun. Or Kajun. Not Kajun, what am I even saying? Okay, so we have some money left over, let's spend it. We're gonna go and we're going to get... Let's forward CMD. We'll get that later. We'll, first we have to get Ghost Recon, or Force, <laughs> Force Recon, I mean. These guys are good. Amazing. Alright, save and exit. We're good to go. Time to do our first battle. These guys are great. Though the new Commonwealth has declared neutrality, it is agreeing to let European forces defend uplink sites built in the UK and... Colonel, your objective is to defend Grissom Air Force Base. Okay, we're Grissom defending Grissom Air Force Base the from capture beach facility Arkady no Novikov. Yes, that's right. Hey, we're protecting it from your Nova. Opponent, that's Colonel Arkady Novikov. great. And apparently Good Nova turned into a bald guy from Rainbow. Russia. Now he heads up the 13th Airborne. Be sure to stock up on anti-air. Okay, so we're going to stick the these guys the in. Colonel. Slip around his hard surfaces and, and here we go. I would have put an artillery unit in, but artillery Relax. isn't the best for this kind of situation. Gallant Eagle is go. Repeat, Gallant Eagle is go. We have units inbound. So this is Operation on Gallant Eagle. We have uplinks identified on radar. Or at least Gallant Roger. Eagle is what is the code word that we're using to start the mission. Watch that car. Oh, we missed it. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> he ran right over it. Yeah, there they go. All right, you need to get that uplink. Now we're gonna get some artillery units. units. Entering the battle Big phase. guns is coming in via this giant Big ass thing. Guns. All rollers, factory men. Looks like they're already disabled an uplink. Bravo is disabled. I was gonna go for that one. 